Hello YouTubers. Today I'm uh, preparing some loads for my first trip to the gun range for my first range day. Set the Dillon all up, loading some 32 H&R mags. Um, I'm trying uh, trying a load that I worked on several years ago and uh, it was really good, very accurate cool little bullet so I'm going to try and make sure that's the right load check it out at the range and then I'm going to come home and load up a bunch of them so I'll have them in stock let me zoom you in on the gun here okay what do we got here this is a Ruger single six chambered for the 32 H&R mag it's a little small frame revolver six shot five and a half inch barrel it shoots the 32 h and mag. It's a little single action revolver. Sweet little gun. Here's what it shoots. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Okay. Factory loaded 85 grain hollow points. It's got a nice little hollow point there. 85 grain bullet. This is the load I'm testing. This is a spear gold dot bullet. It's actually made for uh, 32 ACP. It's a 60 grain hollow point. It looks like a copper jacketed bullet, but that's actually a copper wash or copper plating. It's got a great big hollow point in it. Should expand. I want to get a nice load worked up for uh, protecting my garden from the ravages of rabbits and groundhogs. One thing you'll notice, there's no cannon lure in there, to, well, if you can see it. There's no cannon lure on that bullet to crimp it. I just have to tighten, uh, set the crimp on there enough to just snug it up against the bullet. And it holds it pretty tight. So that's that bullet. This is a bullet that I cast. It's a 98 green semi wad cutter, one grease groove and a crimp groove. No, no gas check or anything. And that's what that looks like when I've got it loaded. I also cast a bullet. I cast that one and I cast this wad cutter. It's got two crimp groove or grease grooves. And I usually crimp it in that top groove, so you just got that much lead showing above the the case. I tinkered around with this stuff years ago, and I need to uh, figure out what everything was again. So that's the load I'm working on. I want to get that one set up just right. Then I'm going to see if I can work up a load with the cast bullets that will hit the same place so I don't have to worry about a sight adjustment. I don't shoot a lot of factory stuff, so I have probably a total of two boxes of factory ammo for it. I've got a bunch of brass, so I'll be loading up quite a bit once I figure out the load. But there she is. Ruger Single Six. I used to be a cowboy. Okay, let's go over a little load information. This is the uh, 60 grain spear bullet. I am loading 6.5 grains of accurate arms powder, number 7. It's probably a medium to hot load for the 60 grain bullet. I think. 6.5 grains is the maximum load for the 85 grain bullet. So since we're shooting a lighter bullet, 6.5 will be safe enough. And this is the uh, 98 grain lead bullet. I'm shooting 3 grains of bullseye. 
that's not a lot of powder in that case so I may try to work up a different load for it I like to I like economics of the light load light weight of powder but I like to also fill the case up a little bit more with powder just because it does it does a better job of burning some powders aren't sensitive to that and some are and I really don't know if bullseye is one of them. Here we are at the range. First time here in quite a while. Inside one of the shooting rooms. But I've got the old single six loaded up. Got the chronograph right outside the window. I've got my sandbag set up. This one's got a groove in it. I don't like to have my barrel touching anything. It kind of ch might change the harmonics. I know that's important in rifles, but I don't know about pistols. I just uh, try to get it as steady as I can without affecting harmonics in the barrel or pushing down real hard. I let it recoil. Let me uh, take five shots. I'll show you the target. These are those 60 green gold dot bullets. Here we go. These darn bifocals give me a hard time. One of the things I like to check when I'm testing out a new load is to see how flat the primers are. Of course, there's an unfired one, and you can see that that's flattened out just a little, but it's still rounded off where it goes into the, the head of the case or into the primer pocket. So I don't think I've got a, a pressure problem there with that. I need to adjust my sights a little bit, so let me get that done. And uh, it was hitting low, so we're going to raise it up. There's the target. This is at seven yards. Three of those shots are touching. I got my chronograph set up, and I raised my sights three clicks. So let's see what happens now. three looks like a threw one way off to the right oh boy my shooting sucks here let me shoot a few more groups I gotta raise it up a little bit I hold six o'clock on that black so that one bullet hit exactly where I'm holding before it's all said and done I'm gonna shoot out there at 25 yards and see how it does before I move it up any higher okay there's my target at 25 yards let's zoom in on it that's five shots I think that one at 6 37 o'clock is a double I haven't walked out there yet I'm happy with a group like that at 25 yards there is a very definite problem with that load. I don't know if it was going on when I was shooting the targets or not. I moved my chronograph out in the sun to get the loads chronographed and I had four different bullets chronographed at around five to six hundred feet per second when the rest of them were chronographing at 1,020 to 1,040 feet per second. I'll have to look at the video when I get home to see if they were all recoiling the same when I was shooting off the bench here. 
but out on the chronograph I was having some very light loads, light, light recoil and the velocity was half. So I don't know what the problem is. I'm going to write that down in my little notebook here. Uh, next I'm going to try my cast bullets. Let me show you my notebook. I got the date. 32 H&R mag, the temperature, humidity, the winds 15 mile an hour, testing this load, and uh, now I'm going to have to write down that uh, there's, I don't know if the powder is bridging over in the measure and not getting full powder drops. I'm going to have to check it out. Let me shoot some of these babies. I know they're good. These are a lot cheaper to shoot anyway. My own cast bullets. I have to go out there and look. I can't hardly see them. They're in the black of the target. I think they're shooting a little bit higher and just a little bit to the left of where those spear bullets were hitting. I'm going to go outside and chronograph them, see how they shoot. Okay, that's my uh, five shots with the, the 60 grain bullet. I think I was shooting over the top with my cast bullet, so I brought it back down to three clicks. Hopefully, I'll be on that target at 25 yards. Just got it loaded up. Let's give it a shot. Looks like I hit it a few times. A little bit to the left, aren't I? Well, I'm home from my first range day trip. And shot two different guns. 32 H and R mag. The 60 green gold dot spear bullets. I had some problems. I don't know if it's the powder or the bullet, but when I shot it through the chronograph is when I realized I had the problem. I haven't looked at my video yet. Uh, I shot it through the chronograph in the first shot was like 500 and some feet per second and I was shooting five shots the next four were 1020 to 1040 feet per second I loaded the gun up again and the first shot out of five was a real low velocity like that and then the next four were up there in the thousand feet per second then that happened like three times in the very first shot all three times was the low velocity then I got into some of the ammo that I'd loaded years ago 
and it was the same load. I put six in it, and two out of the six were squib loads like that. I don't know if you call them squib, but they were light loads. I don't know what's going on. I shot a bunch of my 98 grain wad cutters that have three grains of bullseye. They all shot through the chronograph just fine, but they're only going between five and 600 feet per second. So they're a pretty slow bullet. But they are 38, half again, more than half again is heavy. So they're, they're 98 grains and the others were 60 grains. So I, I figure they're going to go slower and I, I think those are you can't soup them up much more. But I, I do like the the wad cutters. They're semi-wad cutter. So I shot up all the stuff I had loaded. I'm going to start from scratch. Try a different powder with those uh, gold dot bullets. And if I have that problem again, uh, I'm going to assume it's because those bullets aren't crimped in tight. And it's not holding that bullet the pressure up behind it properly I don't know other either that or I'm the powder was just not a good powder so that sums up the 32 H and R mag I'm gonna give it a good cleaning and uh, now I'm going to talk to you make another video and talk to you about some more problems